Businesses today are increasingly drawn into debates about profit, social responsibility, shareholder versus stakeholder rights, sustainability, and double or triple bottom lines. We understand these discussions and surrounding concepts and can ground them in everyday language. There's no single right or wrong place to be in these debates, but there are better and worse ways of conceiving and articulating where a business stands. That's where we come in. We help sort out and clarify what businesses are about on the ethics dimension. Finally, even though our company is composed of university professors, this isn't an academic exercise. There are real benefits. On March 4, 2012, the New York Times published a story about a study commissioned by Apple. It showed that the technology company created or supported 514,000 American jobs. Next, the article relates that Apple posted the study on its website, but declined to say why it published the results. This is a lost opportunity for Apple. There are a broad range of business ethics theories that individual businesses may subscribe to. It's our job to understand the range and help businesses find their own place. Apple fits comfortably on the marketplace side. What's characteristic about companies in this range is that their understanding of ethical obligations starts in the economic realm, and social benefits flow from there. This doesn't mean there's no social benefit to what Apple does. There is. The company produces better products at lower prices. It's just important to understand that a fundamental ethical decision is being made here. Economic success is roughly equated with social contribution and corporate citizenship. Now, the problem Apple has is that they don't say that. You can search their webpage for hours and there's nothing. If Apple had an ethics platform, though, they would explain how they understand corporate social responsibility as deriving from economic success. With that ethics platform in place, their abstract job numbers immediately convert into a human ethical affirmation. Apple does good in the world. It creates employment because it focuses on economic success. Apple is good ethically because it succeeds economically. That's a powerful message. It never comes through, though. Instead, the jobs data remains a pointless sentence in a newspaper story. It's a piece of earned media that could have been valuable, but ended up doing nothing at all for the company. One lesson to draw here is that business ethics isn't about forcing companies to operate in one way or another. It is about operating with a clear and consistent set of values that guide, explain, and justify what a company does. And there's a payoff. Actually, there are a number of payoffs, but the one we're describing here is that ethics incorporated into a brand can help it make sense and connect positively with consumers.